Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last time around, we talked over what gear we use when we're photographing weddings. We're both a photographer and filmmaking company though, so we wanna talk over what gear we use when it comes to the video side of things. This comes down to accessories, microphones, what cameras we shoot on, and what tools we use to try to make our jobs easier and to be giving out higher quality videos to couples that are getting married. So starting over here, we have a DJI Mini 2. So just a small drone. This drone is very capable though. It produces full 4K resolution video. And overall, it's small enough that I can film in lots of places where a bigger drone might be either too loud or it might draw too much attention. So I do have my drone license, so I am legally able to fly that for my business, which is fantastic. Below this though, we have more audio equipment. We like to make sure we get good audio when we're talking about the ceremony, capturing maybe intimate vows with the couple, or even the first look. So we like to mic up the groom. A lot of times we'll mic up the officiant as well. And at times we will plug into the DJI sound booth as well to gather extra sound snippets or even for the speeches later on in the reception. Below this, we have a gimbal stabilizer. So we use this alongside our Sony a7 III to capture video during the ceremony where there's a lot of movement or we're moving around the camera some and other parts of the day whenever we wanna capture some shots with more movement and get that extra stable video. This gimbal has done a great job for me. I've really enjoyed it. The battery life is fantastic and I don't know, it's fun to use. It is fun to use. Otherwise, we have a few other small accessories here, obviously extra batteries for our main camera and ND filters. ND filters are important because as a filmmaker, especially at weddings, we're going inside, we're going outside. The light is constantly changing, whether it be sunlight outside or cloudy. And it's good to have ND filters to make sure that our settings can stay the same, stay consistent on our camera, even when the light is changing. So ND filters are a plus. And last, but certainly not least, one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I own is the Zcam E2 F6. So this is a cinema camera. I have it rigged out fairly well right now, how I would use it on a wedding day. And this camera really gets me excited to film videos. I love the quality that comes from it. It gives me a full 6K image and it is fantastic using it. Battery life is good. I have a good screen on here. I can make sure things are in focus. And let's see an SLR magic 35 millimeter cinema lens on there. So this has been one of my favorite purchases recently. I have loved using it at weddings. Again, I think it just makes our videos a touch higher quality and I really enjoy the look it gives. I really enjoy using it. It gets me excited to get out there at more weddings and to video more ceremonies, more detail shots and more portraits. So I love using that overall my favorite piece of equipment, but I really enjoy all of this. It all ties together to make a complete film for your wedding day or for any couple's wedding day. So that's what we hope to do. And that's it, I think. I think I talked over all of our pieces of equipment when it comes to video. Obviously there's a few lenses that we grab from our camera bag, from our photography bag that we do use during the ceremony, during the reception, whatnot. We are switching out lenses for the most part, this lens stays on this camera though. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have other questions in the comments below, and I'll try to link to most of this in the description as well. And those will be affiliate links. So appreciate if you buy anything from them. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.